Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be a meal prep with me. I'm going to do a simple meal prep. I'm going to do blueberry donuts for breakfast or dessert or whatever. I'm going to do some chicken in the crock pot that I'm going to shred. I'm going to start that here in a minute. I'm going to do chili. I was going to do enchiladas, but we don't have taco seasoning, so I'm going to have to do chili, but that's fine. Um... I'm going to do some snack boxes, which I'll show you, and then I'm going to, shoot, yeah, I'm going to do like a frozen dessert, banana, <laughs> chocolate thing, and it makes them worse than, they're called snicker bites, I don't know why they're called that, because, yeah, but I'm going to try those, and then if I get around to it, I'm going to make chocolate pudding and I'm probably going to do some salad and veggie prep in this video as well. So hopefully I can get around to all of it. So let's just get started. Okay, so starting with the crock pot chicken, it's two chicken breasts. I'm just going to add salt if it would come out. <laughs> There we go. And then I'm going to add pepper, which I'm going to have to... <laughs> and then I'm going to add... chicken bouillon flavor, just not a whole lot, just a little bit. That much. <laughs> that might be more than I had planned, but yeah, you know what. And I'm going to add trying to see if I have a measuring cup. Yeah. Then I'm going to add a cup of water. Not a whole lot, just enough to add. Um, not just, just enough to make sure it's got a little bit of juice in it. And then Put the lid on and put this baby on high and this will cook for three to four hours. Okay so after I started the chicken in the crock pot um, I started with the blueberry donuts. This recipe is from a cookbook I do have. I will link that cookbook down below in the description box that way you can purchase it if you want to. And I did, I thought I'd filmed actually mixing everything in the mixer. Apparently I didn't. Or I've lost the footage. I don't know. <laughs> but I do have me piping the donuts into the little donut pans. I will link the donut pans down below as well. And you don't have to use a piping bag if you don't want to. You can use a spoon or a Ziploc bag. They just, I just have the piping bag so I just used my disposable piping bag and I will link the piping bags down below as well if you were interested in actually purchasing the piping bags but they are not a necessity
what it looks like before you put it in the oven. And this made 12. I only have two donut pans. Probably need to get two more. That way I can bake all 24 at once. But, yeah. Th I'm not in such a big rush to do that. While the donuts were in the oven, I got started on the Snickers Bites. It's a slice of banana. You put a little bit of peanut butter on top of the slice of banana, top it with another slice of banana, and then you freeze that. And then after they're frozen, you dip them in chocolate. chocolate pudding. I didn't think I'd get around to this, but I did make it. It's three tablespoons of cornstarch, two-thirds of a cup of granulated sugar, a quarter cup of cocoa powder, like a pinch of salt. I just shake it out of the salt shaker. I don't really, it doesn't really matter. Just don't add too much. And I eyeball everything. I, I have this recipe in my head. I don't even have to look at it anymore. So yeah. Then you mix all the dry ingredients together, uh, put it on medium heat. You put it on medium heat and add two and a quarter cups of milk. Like, so two cups and then an additional quarter cup. People get confused by that. I, I don't know why, but yeah. But you mix all that together. You're supposed to stir it continuously if you watch it, you don't have to. Just stir it occasionally. But when it starts boiling, stir it continuously for one to two minutes. Take it off the heat. Add in the butter and the vanilla, and then you're done. And like this recipe will be down below in the cards. Or down below in the description box. And the description box is harder to find now. So you actually scroll down below the video and hit more, and then you can see it. And if you can't find it, let me know and I'll leave it in the comments if that's easier. working on that chocolate pudding the first batch of the donuts came out so I let these cool for five minutes and then I flipped them out onto a cooling rack and I repeated the step of filling the pans again 
end. This is just a continuation of the chocolate pudding. This is what it, I wanted to show you what it looks like when it comes to a boil. So you knew what stage it, at <laughs> what stage you needed to turn on a timer for one to two minutes. I like using a timer. You do not have to, but one to two minutes of continuous stirring and or whisking. I like to use a whisk with this. And then you add two tablespoons of butter and like a teaspoon of vanilla. I eyeball vanilla, so yeah. <laughs> Okay, so after I had the chocolate pudding done, the chicken only took like two and a half hours to cook, so that's the chicken. But I wanted to show you what the bananas looked like once they were coated in chocolate. I thought I filmed coating them in chocolate, but I didn't. But I put those back in the freezer. You can add peanuts to the top of the bananas, and I think that makes it more like a snicker, but I didn't have any peanuts. So when I put the bananas back in the freezer, I cut up the chicken. I was gonna shred it, and it was too cooled off at that point because I had to go do something and help my grandpa and come back. It, I was gone for 30 minutes and in that 30 minute time frame, the chicken had cooled off too much. Okay, so the final recipe in this is going to be my chili. I do this every different every time. So, yeah. But I ground or I browned up a pound and a half of ground beef, added a quarter cup of flour, um a like a jar of our tomatoes juice that we made last year as well as part of another new one that we had in the fridge, a can of the Kroger version of Rotel. I added two tablespoons of chili powder, a tablespoon of garlic powder, maybe half a teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a pinch of red pepper flakes because you don't want it too spicy unless you like that much spice and go right ahead. Then I added maybe small a small diced red pepper and a small onion that was diced and of course and you will need to add like probably two teaspoons of sugar depending on how sweet you want it simply to offset the acidity of the tomatoes and i had the peppers and the onions frozen so I didn't really have to worry about chopping it up. I'm just kind of eyeballing how much was in these bags. And both the peppers and the onions were from our garden last year. So, yes. That's And this is what the chili looks like when it first starts cooking. And then this... Shoot. 
is the glaze for the blueberry donuts. I just dump, dunk it in there, shake off the excess, and then put it on the cooling rack. I should have shaked that one off a little bit more than I did, but hey, you know what? It doesn't matter. I just moved over this rack at the end and dumped that glaze back in the bowl and coated the rest. So, yeah. And that this is enough glaze to cover all 24 of these donuts. And this glaze recipe is also in that cookbook. Like I said, I will link it below. And... If you want to get fancy and do this a different way, go right ahead. I just use my hands and go at it. Okay, so to finish off the chili, I just add in a can of, red, of dark red kidney beans. You can use any beans you want. I added the kidney the red kidney beans and then part of another can of beans that we had in the fridge that I didn't want to go to bat, that I didn't want to go to waste. So this is what the chili looks like when it's done, and this is the overview of the bananas after they're frozen and. The final overview of everything that I made in this meal prep. I didn't get around to a couple things, but that's okay. And yes, I had one of the donuts before I filmed this. Whoops. But you gotta taste the food, right? So, okay, this is the overview of everything. That's it for this meal prep. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you've not done so already, hit the red subscribe button down below or hit my picture. Other than that, Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.